welcome to Space Up Los Angeles 2012. What do you guys think of that intro? That was, that was pretty epic, man. <laughs> and roll it, Kelly. Today we find ourselves in the heart of Los Angeles, the center of the new Space Coast. This area of the country made history during the Apollo program over 50 years ago and continues to make history today. Exploring other worlds, commercializing human space exploration, and trying new daring ideas in rocketry and space travel every day. Space Up was brought to this city just over a year ago to help celebrate the progress and move to new heights, literally. Earth is a special place, but to fully understand it, it becomes necessary to explore beyond the confines of Earth orbit, to reach out to our solar system and beyond, to explore in the hopes that we will find an answer to life and maybe create new technology to improve our life here on Earth. truly passionate in the concept of space exploration and humanity's role in it. With such a special mix of aerospace industry professionals, business owners, social media activists, students, and regional space enthusiasts, Space Up will give you a whole new perspective of the ideas that stem from the creativity of mankind. An unconference gives us the unique opportunity to not only hear people's stories and experiences, but get a chance to make your own case about space exploration to connect students to the public to aerospace professionals in a comfortable environment, and to convert ideas and aspirations into reality. We are proud to have a passion for space, and as you can see, we aren't afraid to show it. Scenes like this reinforce the fact that we apply deep human emotion to our robotic vehicles. That we take pride in the things that we build that enable us to explore things we've never seen before. It's this passion that will drive new ideas. Space Up LA thrives on new ideas, like the ones you will be hosting this weekend. This is your opportunity to show the community what it means to be enthusiastic about space exploration and to learn things you thought you never would. This is the year to live the dream. Thanks for being part of Space Up LA this year, and I look forward to hearing your unique ideas about the future of space exploration. That, by the way, is uh, Planet Fest. We had uh, a good 2,000 people in there watching the Mars rover um, Curiosity land live. Um, so I once again want to thank you for coming to Space Up LA. Um, again, this is our second year. And uh, you know we're we're proud to host in LA once again, um, brand new venue, uh, a, a lot of new uh, services here and uh, space that uh, we really want to take advantage of. Um, and so we want to uh, you know um, kind of go over how this all works and uh, and then get started right away. Uh, so uh, Kelly, go ahead and um, and run it. So let me get a show of hands there. Who has been to a space up before? Any space up? Okay, I see a lot of new people in the middle here. That's awesome. Um, that means that uh, we're going to get some, uh, some new, unique uh, perspectives here. So now that we uh, got this ready, let's get going. Um, so again, once again, welcome to Space Up Los Angeles. I wanted to uh, give a uh, huge thanks to all of our sponsors. We got a good number of sponsors this year. And um, if it weren't for them, uh, truly, this wouldn't happen. Um, we wouldn't have such an awesome venue here at USC. Um, we're running this in conjunction with um, the AIAA uh, the student chapter here, who is uh, they're hosting on our behalf, essentially. Um, you're going to see some of these, ho these sponsors later and, and presentations from some of them. For example, uh, SpaceX is going to be hosting our lunch, and Mojave Air and Spaceport will be uh, hosting our dinner. Boeing is hosting our lunch tomorrow, and it's also the uh, uh, Pod 1 is, is named after the company. Um, and then AAA, uh, that's how we can make this happen, uh, to get our nonprofit. And, um, we have a lot of other cool things going on over the course of the day here. Uh, and uh, again, XCore, they uh, sponsored us, and uh, you saw their banner outside at registration. Um, and uh, Infinite Dimensions, Scorpius, uh, Gamma Scientific, uh, and Think Geek. So thank you to all our sponsors. Uh, we're going to talk about you a little bit more later, but uh, let's get uh, into business here. Uh, we talked about uh, what happens in an unconference. Uh, it's a bar camp model. As we said, um, the session grid is completely empty right now. 
There are no planned sessions from right now until 6 p.m. Uh, before we do dinner and T-minus five talks. Anything goes, um, hopefully space related, doesn't have to be, but you know, it's a space conference, so we hope, uh, hope it's space related or robotics or anything like that. And uh, um, I'm gonna have a special request. Um, a lot of us who have been here before have heard all the same talks before, so if you're new to this whole thing and you're really interested, please, I encourage you, the new people, to write topics on the board. Because, you know, I would really like to hear what people who haven't been to a lot of these have to say and what they want to talk about. Uh, presentations can be multiple different types. If you have an actual presentation with slides or a video, um, we do have tons of AV equipment you can use to uh, display that and sound equipment. Uh, it, also, it could also be a roundtable discussion using simply a whiteboard to say, here's my idea, let's try it out, let's see what we can make of this. So uh, there's uh, a myriad of different types of conversations we can have today. Um, so go ahead. As I said, session grid, totally empty. You're going to see, this is what you're going to see once you go out to uh, lunch today, right after the session. Um, and it's your job, your responsibility right now, to uh, fill the grid with uh, all of your creative ideas um, and topics. Uh, you might notice, by the way, that uh, in, few, in past space ups, there are half hour sessions. We actually increased the time of the sessions um, to uh, 40 minutes with five minute intervals in between. Uh, we felt that last year, uh, the sessions were overflowing into each other and people wanted to continue the conversation. Um, and if they just need an extra five to 10 minutes of time, it, it would have been perfect. Um, but, uh, and to give the transition so we so make sure it's fair for everybody who's trying to present something. So go ahead. Uh, we're using the law of two feet here. Uh, so the law of two feet means we want you to participate and network and have fun. This is, a, um, you know, this is an informal uh, event where it's your, um, you're the one who is uh, you know, trying to go out there and, and network with other folks here. Um, we have a huge myriad of uh, aerospace professionals and students and, and it's again the perfect place to uh, bring everybody together. Um, if a topic's not interesting to you in a particular pod, there's other topics going on at the same time, please get up and go and find one that's interesting to you. Can't find one that's interesting? Then start your own session. There's so many options here, you should never ever be bored. Um, and we have a few different special events as well uh, that we assure you won't be bored. Um, so uh, please start your own session if uh, you have an idea. Uh, go ahead. I mentioned the special events. We do have a few going on both days. Uh, today, we have an Xbox uh, Connect rover landing contest. So I don't know if uh, any of you have seen this yet, but it's pretty neat. You control a uh, Mars rover, uh, control it to land using uh, Connect, uh, actual movements. So we're going to be putting that on a huge projector for you. We're actually going to be making it into a contest. Hopefully we can get the highest uh, landing score. Uh, we're going to be giving away some cool thinky prizes for. Uh, so we'll be watching that. Uh, raffle prizes. We have a whole slew of uh, raffles from ThinkGeek that we're going to be uh, giving away over the course of the day. Um, so I hope you have your uh, raffle tickets, uh, not right now, but uh, later on, uh, the first one will be during lunch. Um, uh, throughout the day and tomorrow, we'll be giving away uh, pr cool prizes. T-5 Talks is a special uh, pre-organized event where uh, each talk is a five minute um, presentation where each session, uh, where, where each slide transitions every 15 seconds. It's a very dynamic and uh, and, and very social talk. And we, we actually, for the first time ever, will have a live streamed um, uh, a, a Skype virtual um, T minus five talk given by someone who uh, lives in New York. So um, it's a little, trying things new here. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, can't guarantee it, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try our best. Um, we, we tested it and it worked fine. But uh, Saturday, uh, we're planning, if you folks are so interested, in a guided tour of the California Science Center space okay. exhibit. Sunday, Sunday, hmm, that is, I didn't even see that, thank you. <laughs> That's a typo. Uh, I'll put Rev A out later, you know. <laughs> we'll give you a, a uh, so we have a, uh, a, guided, uh, a guide at California Science Center who's willing to give a uh, tour of the California Science Center um, and especially uh, show around where the uh, Endeavor vehicle is gonna be uh, brought into the, um, to the center uh, just uh, about two months from now. So uh, that was really exciting. That'll be in the afternoon, if you're so interested. And there's also sessions going on. Um, and then uh, on Sunday as well will be a moon pie eating contest. Uh, we had a moon pie eating contest between about, uh, I think there were about uh, 10 participants last year. It was a lot of fun, pretty messy. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then some more raffle prizes. So go ahead. Uh, again, changes from 2011. I grew up in Arcadia, California. I'm a resource manager. What is that? 
I don't even know what that is. <laughs> okay, that's not even part of this. <laughs> um, changed in 2011. I mentioned 40-minute sessions with five-minute breaks that allows us to transition between sessions. Um, everyone should have received a map of uh, where we're uh, doing everything here. I'll go into that in a second. Um, but uh, it's important to understand where everything is because some people have gotten lost already. So uh, we'll, make sure, we'll make sure you guys know where we're going by the first session or so. More technology. I really wanted to make this a priority, and I want to try to get as much tech into this conference as possible. Um, that means a ton of projectors. I have uh, almost a dozen projectors I'm using here to, uh, to project virtual session grids um, onto some of the other pods so you don't have to go to the other room to see what's going on. It's updated live, you know, uh, uh, nonstop, so we'll have a volunteer who's uh, helping with that. Uh, sound systems, we're getting tons of great, obviously we have this beautiful stage here, and this is where we're going to be presenting our T-5 talks. Unfortunately, we don't have this for the regular sessions, only the T-5 talks in our intro, um, but uh, if you're giving a T-5, uh, you will uh, be able to go on this grand stage here. Uh, and high quality cameras and recording. We have, uh, uh, thanks to San Diego Space Society and some of their equipment and, and Kelly Clark, we have uh, tons of great recording equipment that we're using here. Um, to really record your, your, um, and stream your sessions and make sure that, uh, well, you know, get copies and uh, if you want to present it in the future for uh, whatever reason, then that's um, uh, what you can do. Um, again, so the venue map, and you, you have a copy of this as well. This is the lower level, this is the ballroom, and um, what you see right now is the T-5 stage is what you're in right now. Um, this stage, again, will be used, is being used right now, and will be used during the, uh, the T-5 talks. Otherwise, it's closed um, during the day. Uh, so we, we don't have our uh, professional staff here, unfortunately, to uh, keep it open for us. Uh, meals today um, will be served in the area right behind us, um, behind the wall. And uh, so lunch and dinner will both be in there. And uh, we're going to see some uh, special presentations from our sponsors in there um, as well. And uh, pod five, that is our overflow pod. In case we need to use it, if uh, we fill all our four pods, we need another place to, uh, to talk, that's the place to do it. Uh, so go ahead to the next map. Pod uh, one, two, three, and four are all located on the third and fourth floor. If you came here early, you were directed to go sit in pod one near Hardware Alley. Hardware Alley is going to be in pod one. That's the Boeing Forum over there. Um, and that's uh, where we're also going to be serving uh, coffee and some drinks. Um, we're going to have our Connect Rover game, um, our, our sponsor grid, and our session grid. Uh, we're actually, our session grid is going to start in the lunch area, and you can fill out stuff there. We're going to be moving it to pod one. Pods uh, two, three, and four are located in various areas. Pod two is in, uh, on the fourth floor as well. Um, that one doesn't have the AV equipment, um, but it does have some big whiteboards and stuff, and we'll record that one. Um, pod 3 is our second largest room, and it has uh, tons of AAV equipment for you to use, and, and we'll be streaming that one as well, live. Um, pod 4 is a slightly smaller room, but uh, still uh, has AV equipment, and uh, we'll be ready for you. So go ahead. Uh, food. So we try to uh, find as much variance of food as possible. Last year we went with uh, things like Rubio's and, um, and uh, some other interesting ones. We tried to find ones that are both interesting um, and create sort of a, a really neat uh, environment. And again, it's buffet style. You go up there and you, uh, you know, grab what you want. Uh, we have tons of snacks all during the day. Um, for lunch, it's, uh, it's going to be Indian cuisine. Um, and uh, don't worry, it's not all spicy. <laughs> Well, if, if you like spicy, it's spicy. No. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> just kidding. There's going to be something for everybody. Um, tonight is pasta Roma. Uh, so that's Italian food, which includes uh, pasta, chicken parm, uh, chicken marsala, uh, salad, a lot of good stuff. Uh, on Sunday for lunch is going to be Daphne's. And so that's going to be a combination of uh, sandwiches and... Uh, um, uh, kebabs, chicken kebabs, beef kebabs, that kind of thing. So we, we're going around the world here trying all these different things. Oh, we have Starbucks coffee too in pod one. <laughs> in case you like that. Topics. So uh, again, the topics are up to you. What I'm posting here are the topics that I surveyed everyone for when you guys registered um, to kind of get a, uh, to kind of kick it off a little bit, to kind of give you some ideas as to what you should be uh, thinking about going in. Um, and so, so a lot of you did submit some topics you were interested in. Um, for example, getting teens interested in space, that's a good one. We have a lot of, good, uh, a lot of students here, eager to learn. <laughs> um, some uh, greenhouses in space, uh, Mars-based Mojave, uh, reopening the space frontier. Um, of course, how to, open your, how to host your own space up. We do always do that one, because we uh, always need more organizers. Please. Uh, <laughs> um, 
robots and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, go to another slide. Uh, we have the USC Rocket Propulsion Lab. Some folks from there are here today that um, will hopefully be showing their rocket. Uh, uh, go to the next slide. Uh, just a few more here. Um, the Dragon versus CST-100. What it's like to work in Mojave. A rational approach to space safety. Um, first robotics. Uh, and of course, sky cranes on Mars, because uh, we always want to talk about the, the latest and greatest, of course. Uh, so uh, just a bunch of topics I wanted to throw out there to uh, really get you guys thinking about what we can talk about. And, um, and uh, so I hope there's uh, something here that you'd like to kick off. And if you don't see a topic you like here, I want you guys to go out and think of your own topic and, and post it, because this is just a small sample. Icebreaker. This is a space up classic. We are now going to go around the room, and uh, we want to hear your name, and we want to hear three words. It could be about you. It could be anything you want to say. We're going to be passing around a uh, microphone, but we want to know, uh, you know who you are and uh, why you came to space up in just three words. So we're going to go uh, pass a mic around. Yep, we'll start up here. Uh, my name is Rand Simberg. Stand up, stand up. <laughs> our, first, our first icebreaker. Kill more people. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Paul Breed. Go build things. My name is Gio Luchardello, and I am X-Core testing guy. They can count. Hi, I'm Guy Jackson. Uh, bow ties are cool. <laughs> I'm Linda Roberts. Hi there, everybody. Uh, Robert Green, artificial intelligence algorithms. Uh, Steve Boyle, I guess, autonomous vehicle robotics. Robert Smith should have brought computer. <laughs> John Breeza, Transport Station. We'll take care of that side first. We'll take care of that side first. Yeah, we'll come back. Mark Hubner, Outer Space Enterprises. Okay. Uh, Mike, that would be NASA Rover Onage. Jim Rothrock, Sample Return Robot. <laughs> Simone Lojek, uh, Say La Vie. Yuri, let's build stuff. Fidel Tanya's Go Mars Curiosity. <laughs> Alfred Differ, Unleash Free Enterprise. Randa Hutner, um, Tucson Space Geek. Yeah. Um, Begonia and Go Field Mars. Michael, space science fiction. Rob, military space strategist. Randy Wallingford, technologically challenged. <laughs> That's two words. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> uh, Tom Zook, high school physics. <laughs> Uh, Trio Lee, Team Viking Robotics. Yeah. Um, Matt Wallingford, High School Robotics. <laughs> um, Kevin Nguyen, I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Judy Turner, get kids interested. Evan Omo, robots are cool. Uh, Jessica Billiter, I love math. Julia Heiser, excited for today. Brandon Pham. Go Vikings. <laughs> Armand Afghani, robots are cool. <laughs> Jake Atashian, robots are cooler. Uh, my name is Two, three, four, five. <laughs> Kyle, fezzes are cool. Spokey, I want food. How go, uh, military model lover? Scott Morchauer, Humans on Mars. 
John Spencer, Space Tourism Society. Karina Dries, Mojave Spaceport Rocks. Yeah. Uh, Joe Weichman, uh, Life on Enceladus. Brandon Larson, Martian Concrete Guy. Ethan Thompson, Gotta Love LA. Natal Partansky, Space Planes Imagination. Nick Orenstein, Astronautical Engineering Student. Uh, ben Siepser, SpaceX Rocket Scientist. Edward Wright, Citizens in Space. Uh, Jared Head, Rockstar Space Scientists. That's boring. <laughs> uh, Joy Weaver, Accurate Accessible Sci-Fi. Duncan Fuji, Space Up Seems Interesting. Eric Fuji, go for launch. <laughs> Doug Jones, rocket riding plumber. <laughs> Ann Jones, X Corps flight participant. <laughs> John Schilling, <laughs> spacecraft yeah. propulsion guy. Yeah, you kidding me. Lars Osborne, looking yeah, forward as as we're to with these guys here. <laughs> so this is the last slide here. Yes. Okay. Susanna Schick, Doctor's Daughter, biographer. Thanks. Charles Player, space technology promoter. Mark Hopkins, CEO, Space Society. Dan Gutierrez, cranky aerospace graybeard. Nick Heisey, all the exploration aspects. Dan Volani, Dragon Nav Operator. Peter Kim, I got nothing. <laughs> Kevin Kung, poor college student. <laughs> Karen Radcliffe, uh, Food and Community in Space. Chris Radcliffe. More crazy ideas. Benjamin Radcliffe, space is awesome. Nate McIntyre, space social media. Uh, Mark Bartholomew, should have studied science. <laughs> Zara Brown, let's find aliens. Tatiana Kichikaila, robots build yourself. <laughs> David Schneider Joseph, space industry noob. Ruthwick Acharya, learn new stuff. Casey Dreyer, more political advocacy. Very cool, very cool. Anyone else? I think we got everybody. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, we have a wide variety of people. We have a group of engineers. Uh, we have uh, social engineers, I guess you can call them. Um, uh, tons of students. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, so we will break for uh, lunch uh, pretty soon. Uh, but before we do, I uh, have a special guest I wanted to show you who uh, made a video especially for us. And uh, kind of introduced the kick off the event here. So roll it. Hey, hey, Space Up Los Angeles, Bill Nye, the science guy here, CEO of the Planetary Society, and we will change the world with planetary exploration. So have a good meeting, you guys, because you are the future of space. You are going to help humankind reach farther and deeper into space, and that will improve the lives of everyone here on Earth. So thank you. See you soon. <laughs> so there you have it. Um, and uh, real quick, just a little more information about uh, what's in your packet. So um, you should have gotten um, SpaceX bags as well. If you didn't get one and you came early, uh, I know they weren't out there in time, uh, please do pick one. We have plenty to go around for people. Um, we're going to give out other things uh, uh, over the course of the day, um, as well as uh, uh, the equipment that we have inside the packet. So we have the venue map, um, so uh, take a look at that and make sure you know where you're going uh, when we start the pods. Uh, we also have... Um, a couple notes from uh, various sponsors and also a, a survey. 
we really want to hear feedback. I want to make sure that uh, we're running this uh, to the quality that you, that you hope and expect that uh, we run a, an unconference to and you know, surpass your expectations. And hopefully, with an intro uh, like this, we, we uh, have at least attempted that. Uh, so um, if you have any feedback, please, uh, we want to make sure we get that into future years. Um, one of the biggest feedbacks from last year was that we didn't have good, good internet access. We tried to, uh, to uh, uh, change that last year by bringing in some additional wireless uh, networks and such, but um, it didn't really work this year. We found a place that had amazing internet access, so I hope you all have your smartphones and laptops handy. Um, and you're tweeting about it the whole time because uh, I want to see some uh, good tweets going. <laughs> so, um, so thanks again, and I uh, hope you enjoy the intro session, and uh, have a good lunch. So thank you.